But first on Fox 28, going old school. What corridor school districts are now planning to do following a big change to starting date rules. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joy Howe in for Scott and Tiffany tonight. Thanks for joining us. We begin with a big shakeup for Iowa schools. Rather than the school year starting in August, your kids may be heading back to school in September of next year. Fox 28 News reporter Jason Hackett is live at the Cedar Rapids School District headquarters to explain this one for us. Jason. Yeah, Joy, the state's education director says he's received complaints about these waivers that allow school districts to start school early. Well, with a decision made today, many districts may have to take their school calendars and throw them out the window. It's the shakeup many districts didn't see coming. It was a little bit of a surprise to us today. And the move some parents flat out don't want. The kids are used to the days and times they go to school right now. And I figure if it's not broke, don't fix it. This is the letter from State Education Director Brad Buck. In it, he lays out the end of automatic waivers for early school start dates. From now on, schools must begin the week of September 1st. The only way a school can be considered for a waiver is if they demonstrate that starting late would, quote, have a significant negative educational impact. In Cedar Rapids, where next year's calendars have been set since October. The start date on that was August 17th. Officials say the impact could be far reaching. From athletics and extracurriculars to jeopardizing post-secondary education for high schoolers. We tried to align our, align our calendar as much as we could with Kirkwood Community College. A later start date could also impact the layout of semesters. That would cause us to have to have a break at winter break uh, the, in December and then students come back and finish that semester. Most parents we spoke to aren't completely on board. If you are gonna have vacation time, that's going to be messed up. All the activities in Cedar Rapids, are children still gonna be able to do those? Some have one request for the state on the brink of the big change. Make sure that if you do propose something, it's educational wise for the kids' benefits. Now, Joy, this change would be pretty widespread. We crunched the numbers today. 336 out of 338 districts in Iowa started before September this year. Cedar Rapids tells us that they plan on applying for the, one of those waivers. More information is expected at the beginning of next year. If they do not get that waiver, then school is set to start no earlier than September 1st. We're covering the corridor here in Cedar Rapids tonight. Jason Hackett, Fox 28 News.